Hello everyone, this is Michael Rena, Chief Talent Officer at General Motors Corporation, and I am thrilled to join you today to talk about this topic of scaling organizational agility and really leveraging this concept of adaptive space. And, and I think we as HR professionals you know, have this really unique opportunity uh, to, to really enable and or frankly stifle you know, our organizations when it comes to this topic of agility. Uh, more specifically, you know, why is agility critical today in today's world? And, you know, I, I just read a study recently from Quorum Ferry that essentially said that the number one strategic priority for, you know, the most admired brands and most admired companies across the world, across the globe, is this concept of strategic agility and how do we move fast in a radically changing world? So, I, I just want to spend some time and talking through some, you know, concepts that relate to, you know, HR and, you know, people analytics in particular, and some things that we have been deploying here at General Motors, and some things that I have written about most recently. You know, we live in this era of disruption, you know, perhaps never before has the world been more poised, you know, our companies been more poised for disruption than today. Um, you know, John Chambers I, from Cisco, I think, said this best. He says, you must transform. You must reinvent yourselves or you will be disrupted. And he goes on in stark language to say that, and it will be a brutal disruption to the point of which, you know, in the next 10 to 15 years, many of the organizations that exist today will not exist, at least not in the form that they do today. And I, and I think we see evidence of this. You know, you can only look at the S&P 500 history over time and you, you recognize rather quickly that in fact, the, the life expectancy of an S&P 500 company has shrunken fourfold since its inception. And the predictions are that, you know, that's going to happen at a more, even more rapid pace. A University of Washington study said that an estimated 40% of today's organizations will not exist in the next 10 years. I mean, so that is a rather large number. And, and we, from an HR perspective, have a really critical role to play to, to help position and enable our organizations to think differently. And that's what I want to spend some time talking about here today. And I'll start in my own industry. You know, you, you can, if you look just in the last five years, um, you know, and, and my CEO, Mary Barra, is famous for saying that the automotive industry will change more in the next five years than it has in the last 50. She made that comment first a few years ago, and I would argue that it's already happened. 